Ladies and gentlemen, we are at week three, Thursday night, Pitts Pro in season two. We have a uh, fantastic um, match card for you guys. But as always, before we get that started, uh, Josh is always with us on Thursday. How are you today, sir? <laughs> Finishing my last bite real quick, sorry. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, it's been a day at work, but mm -hmm. you know, here we are now. Yeah. For wrestling. So with our first um, pay-per-view around the corner, which is going to be the foundation, Pitts Pro Wrestling presents the foundation, we have uh, two champions, and, sorry, sorry, we have three champions and no women's world champion, so does that put a lot of weight on the women's division? Uh, not essentially. I mean, there's always the tough competitive, so regardless, we're going to have a women's champion soon. So. so let me just read off for, 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 for our fans that don't know. So our Indeed. women's, our women's world division is Paige, uh, Can Candace Michelle, Sarah Logan, Beth Phoenix, Lita, uh, uh, Shirai and Molly Holly. So, any of those women can really be our world champion. It's just who is it going to be? But, um, first up on the board, you actually put 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 together uh, the card here tonight. So, um, this is the product of Josh, who felt like um, a lot of the match card, the matches I put together need to be tweaked a little bit. So uh, his first uh, pick was Scott Steiner and Snitsky. Now, what did you, what made you want to put this match together? Well, I mean, of course, the famous mathematician Scott Steiner. Yep. <laughs> oh yes. Um, I mean, he's always fun to watch. Uh, great mouth. Yep. Love it. He's hilarious. But um, you know, Scott Steiner, powerhouse from hell. I mean. Obviously, big Papa Punk. Mm-hmm. Flexing as you say it. Flexing as you say it. Indeed. Snitsky is also a powerhouse, but he's also he's got a great ring to IQ. Mm-hmm. So, watching these two go up against each other is probably going to be one very interesting match to watch because they've never actually faced each other. So. Right. I mean, on paper, I I know we just started. This is week three of a year. Um. But on paper, does this match have the potential to be match of the year? Well, I mean, I wouldn't give it that until included. And okay. We can actually see the results, but um, there's definitely going to be a lot of matches from here on out to actually, you know, give a good pull for the uh, match of the year candidate. Yep. And as all, 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 always, as of last season, Pitts. Pro will always be holding the Primus games and with that it's going to be all four brands competing for one world title um, and uh, we only had one of those matches and it was AEW's Jericho versus Smackdown Seth Rollins versus um, Pitts Pro Wrestling's Bobby Lashley and Chris Jericho won both, uh, both wins in that match so with it's Chris fucking Jericho. With Chris Jericho being uh, the brand's champion at that time, um, so the Primus Games is always the second to last before WrestleMania. Uh, who are you? Who are you hoping will bring the gold back to Pitts Pro? Well. There's a couple guys mm -hmm. that I haven't met. But there will be a, a surprise entrant later down the road that maybe he'll end up being the threshold of our company. So maybe? We'll, just, we'll have to find him. Listen, there's an empty space in, in our trophy case that was held for that world title. And the fact that it's in Jamsaw's possession just 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 gets under my skin sir we have to get it back 
But um, focusing back on the match, um, it looks like these two have really been going back to back with each other. Nothing really, um, nothing really that stands out. Nice swinging neck breaker, beautiful. Nice reversal, nice reversal. Now, if you guys do not remember, you can get a knockout on the outside of the ring because this is a knockout submissions brand. So, you know, Snitsy could be running the entire match and it just takes one move for Big Papa Pump to do and it'll, it'll secure him the win. The question is, nice! The question is if he'll do it and when he'll hit it. There you go, back in the ring. Ooh, what do we look? Oh no. Shit. Scott Steiner. Damn. Scott, I believe, is... Uh, week one, he... Got the win over... Black... And then he had last week off. So as of right now, he is he is 2-0, brother. He's definitely a front runner for our world title. But with 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 Big Show being our our world champion, question looms, whoever faces him, let's assume it's Scott Steiner. Would Scott Steiner have the willpower to outdo the big show? Well, I mean, <laughs> he matches power, but he's got more speed. Yes. Yes, he does. So. <laughs> but, um, again, that's that's two weekends away, sir, and I'm, I'm very excited for it. But uh, next up is your second match you picked, which is Cesaro and Shinsuke. Again, what was your mindset on this one? Um... I mean, they're two of my favorite wrestlers, like standalone wrestlers, mm -hmm. especially uh, Shinsuke. Right. Being from New Japan, he's always been one of my favorites. But Cesaro, a lot of people have mixed feelings, but I think Cesaro is one of the best wrestlers to date. Right. The guy is fucking amazing in the ring. I don't care what anybody says. And he's really fucking strong, too. I mean, he's... He was one... He was our longest reigning... I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe he was our longest reigning world champion of last season, correct? Yeah. Yes, so... Again, him, Bobby Lashley, and Big Show were, like, really the, the only three that... Um held merit and and made uh, the world title have prestige but but if you remember correctly um says Ces Cesaro took the world title away from Big Show and then retired him and then when Big Show came back he took it from Cesaro but then lost it to Bobby so yep. it's it's Cesaro really Never had a proper story with that world title that ended. So he could get a he he too could be a front runner for our world title, but because it's not set in stone yet, since we're focusing on one person from each match, would Cesaro have the merit to take the title away from the big show in this season? Well of course he does. I mean it's Cesaro. Mm-hmm. Ooh, but Shinsuke has a ladder. Oh, ho, ho. beautiful. No, no. I said no ladder for you. Jesus. <laughs> I think Shinsuke was the first one to ever grab a weapon in Proving Grounds so far. Damn. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone did last week, but it didn't go very successful. Oh, shit. No, nice reversal from Shinsuke. Drop kicks, beautiful. Who was it last week that tried grabbing? It was a theme. Um, last week we had uh, 
it wasn't Candace and Paige, because that was a steel cage. It was either Tony or Ruby Riot. Oh, shit. On the ladder! On the ladder! Do it! Oh, no, he's taking him to the corner. Come on. No! There you go, beautiful. Dropping him... Dropping him on the steel chained wrap turnbuckle, sir. That's beautiful. You go pick him up. Oh, underhook. Oh, God. Pile driver. Uh, nope. Ooh, that strength of Cesaro. Uh, That's that pure strength that you were saying that this man possesses. It's ungodly. I was about to say it, it's it's like he was sculpted right by the gods, and then you mentioned godly enough, sir. It's 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 fucking insane how much the the human body can alter itself. I mean, the dude is literally like the strongest fucking person the WWE currently has on roster. Right. Like he could outlift Bobby Lashley. Like, mm -hmm. dude, that's a whole lot of weight. Yeah. Bobby Lashley be benching like 500 fucking pounds. Cesaro's just like, oh, that's a cakewalk for me. He's like, that is my pre-workout. Like, Jesus Christ. The man eats dumbbells, sir. Like, for real. Shinsuke keeping him on the outside. I feel like that's his smartest move. Keeping Cesaro on the outside. Because if he's in that ring, he can run circles around any man in that ring. He really can. His endurance is incredible as well. Yes. So, with Shinsuke being the smart man that he is, he's very smart. Keeping Cesaro, because you're in a confined space. It might be big, but it's a confined space. And if you can keep him in that confined space, then Cesaro is walking without any legs, in my opinion. Oh, God. Bringing him back. Okay. Because remember, like I said, you can knock out or submit somebody on the outside. So, he really doesn't have to keep it in the ring. On to the ladder. Oh, going for that cross face. Oh, yeah. Will he get it, though? Mm-hmm. There it is. Shinsuke, that's st but see now the question I'm thinking: Does strong style match the strength of the Swiss man? There you go. There you go. Pick him up. Cesaro, nice, beautiful. But yeah, so how do you compare strong strong style to Cesaro? Oh! I mean, Cesaro's style is. It's very upfront, and uh, he also has a great technical prowess, too. Yes. Shinsuke has straight, strong style. Oh! He... Go for the armbar! He's gonna snap it. He's gonna fucking snap it. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Oh, going for the sharpshooter. There he goes. And this is the this is what yep. There it is. Damn. So with that being said, Cesaro fucking I believe Cesaro's undefeated as well in season two. Let me uh no, he actually lost yes, he lost uh, week one to Bobby Lashley, and then, yeah, so this is his Here's debut as well. I don't know, man. Oh, wait, or did he have a, hold on. Yes, okay, yes, 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 he was not in that fatal four-way week one. He was not, I thought he was, he was not. Damn, so, Cesaro looking strong. 
getting that, in my opinion, he got that win back. And Shinsuke, he, he, he looks strong in defeat. I, I love I love the fate the phrase look strong in defeat and that's what that's what Shinsuke did tonight. But um Yeah, so up next is a match I've been I've been anticipating and I've been excited to see. Both of these men are coming in with uh wins on their, their belt. I, I I hate to keep turning back to my notes. So Lashley is coming in off of a win over Cesaro in week one. And Big E is coming into this match uh, with a win in a fatal four-way against Shinsuke, CM Punk, and Xavier Woods. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be something that's going to be... Uh, Who's going to leave undefeated? Who's going to leave this ring? Possibly. And and again, I keep I hate to keep saying it. Lashley, former world champion. So I feel like he has more to lose in the coming up of the pay-per-view. But new season. Here we go. Nice collar tie up by Big E. See, the question is, do you uh, do you attack the arms of a strong man, or do you attack his lower body and take and take out his uh, take out his base? There you go. Yes, with a rebound. What are we looking at? Oh, Jesus Christ! Nice spine buster. Beautiful. And it looked like Bobby bashes head off of that that steel top of the mat. Not again! Shit! Fuck! God damn it, Biggie! Oh, Bobby, bro, you got it, Bobby. What the fuck, bro? It looks like he's being matched at every turn he's at. Ooh, nice, perfect, perfect. Damn. I mean, sir, what's your opinion? On the size and strength of these two men, and the the uh, the uh, statistics that I had mentioned before. Nice. Well, I mean, both of them are pretty equally matched in strength. Right. Like Biggie's fucking powerful. Mm -hmm. Bobby's obviously powerful. Yep. Um, I'd say they're probably equally matched in speed too. Yeah. I could agree on that. Maybe one might be a little bit faster than the other, but you can't really yeah. tell just based on looking at them. But based on the statistics, they're both undefeated. Big E is c coming in off of a fatal four-way win, but Bobby has a solo win, but Bobby's our former world champion. So, I mean, who's got more to lose in, in this undefeated streak? Nice belly to belly. Jesus, that looked shit. Uh, Bob, big former champion, but. Mm -hmm. Nice. He's definitely got more to lose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I would agree with you, Jesus Christ. See, the fact that our arenas are nothing but steel, stone, and metal, I mean. People are going to get hurt, sir. People are going to be taken out of commission, and it's all a matter of who goes out first between these two. Nice. Well, I'm definitely pulling for Big E simply because Bobby has been in the scene mm -hmm. in the top picture already, so it'd be nice to see Big E get a fresh push and definitely be put in the title picture. Oh, yeah. So, so then with you saying that, does Big E have what it takes to dethrone the Big Show? Oh yeah, of course. He's definitely got the strength to be able to take him out if he wants to, but he he, he's, he has more speed and his he definitely doesn't have to worry about you know getting his legs taken out as hard as the Big Show would. Yep, yep. Because you take out the Big Show's legs and he's he's down, like he's down. Right. Either he's going to get another breath and come back, or he's just done for. Correct. 
And you go pick him up. DDT on, on the stone mat. Jesus Christ. There you go, there you go, take him out. Yeah, Big E's loving this, brother. Yeah, he is, he's ravaging him. Damn. Definitely having some fun in this environment, I'll tell you what. Oh, I'm telling you. See, with, with with Big E's character, first thing I saw, so I don't know if you played Def Jam Fight for New York when you were younger, but, yeah, I did. okay, Bone Crusher. That's who I got from, uh, no, no, sorry, 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 David Banner. David Banner, he was yoked as fuck, and, uh, yeah, he, he just wore the jean shorts, that was it, and the man was, man was a beast, like that, shoulder black Bobby from sitting position. Nice! Don't you fucking die on me, brother. For your coffin. <laughs> Don't you dare die on me on commentary. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Damn, Big E. You gotta put. At this point, if Big E is destined to win this match, he's just playing with his food. Like, at this point. Ooh. Oh, shit. Headbutt to the back of the head by Bobby. Beautiful. Oh, could we see a power? Nice. Oh, it's torture rack submission. Ah, get Biggie. Nice. But how do you hold the likes of Biggie on one shoulder for that long? Well, you just have to have some power because that's a lot of man. That is. Oh, uh, Big E. Taking him out. Took his ass out. Still undefeated, brother. Big E leaves undefeated. I feel like he's our only undefeated superstar so far. Or did Scott Steiner... Uh, no, Scott Steiner is also... Uh, um, 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 yeah, Scott Steiner is also undefeated. So it would be great to see the three of them in a match. Scott, Big E, and Big Show for, for, for the world title. That'd be, that'd be fucking insane. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Big E showing. That'd be a crazy trip. Right? I'm just saying. Damn. So, um, up next being our co main event, I wanted to. I, I, I. When you gave me the list of matches. I agreed with you on all five of these matches, but the one that shocked me the most that you put together was Asuka and Io. What's, uh, what's your mindset on this one? Um, well, for one, you know, they're very good friends outside of the ring, but mm -hmm. they're also two literally, well, like, Io is, Io is probably like my favorite female wrestler of all time. Mm -hmm. She is literally just perfect in every aspect: submission, technical, like every everything. Technical, fucking high fly. Uh, she has the speed, the power. Like it's not over excessive. It's perfect. Like she has a balance of everything. Right. Whereas Austin focuses more on the technicality, but she also likes it very hard yep now i don't want to be that person because i'm i'm not that cold cold cultured in japan pro and all that I'm, I'm not cultured in it so when i ask it it's a general question so shinsuke is is called the king of strong style and he's he's from japan do all japanese re uh, wrestlers have strong style or is it a select few that are strong style? Um, I mean, there's a great deal of people that do um, train in strong style. Okay. Predominantly over every other style of wrestling. Um, 
In Japan, it is quite a preferred style because it is how the promotion in itself is shown, represented, and pretty much other than that, mm -hmm. it's, you know, you have your high flyers. Right. A lot of high flyers that are in and out of Japan. Um, I mean, there's high flyers that are going to Japan. Speaking of that, Leo Rush just signed with New Japan. Yes, Jamsaw was uh, talking about that, which is phenomenal. I love Leo. And uh, honestly, I'd love to see him as IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Mm -hmm. That would be nice to be for. So what? What is strong style then? What is the idea of strong style? Um, I mean, pretty much it's, but, oh my god. Something hard How, to explain a little bit. So, pretty much, obviously, it's a predominant style of professional wrestling that has developed in Japan. Right. But, it, it became popular among English-speaking fans... I believe it was Tanabi. Okay. I believe it was Tanabi, like, antics and stuff it, on, like, the internet and stuff. But, like, it was, uh, I don't want to mispronounce it, but it's, like, he's Taru Tanabi. Okay. He, it was, like, he pretty much, like, made the whole, like, term, practically. Okay. But it, it's it's almost related to, of course, shoot wrestling, combat sport. Like, it's, uh, what do you want to call it? Like a marketing term. Okay. Almost. Okay. But, yeah, it's, you know, it's what it, what it is. It, like, strong, hard-hitting, like beating the holy hell out of each other style of match. Beautiful. But yeah, it was. I, I'm pretty sure it was Tanabi on the internet that predominantly just made that shit like popular. Right. Well, it seems like Asuka's. I mean, from what I've been seeing, brother, Asuka's. Well, she's calling for it. Going for it. Yep. Shit. Shit. Oh, Jesus. Ouch. That spinning kick, beautiful. Oh, pulling her in for a guillotine. Yes, guillotine. Is it guillotine or guillotine for you? A guillotine. Okay, okay. Oh, Eo's not going to go out that way, Jesus. Oh, dropping her. Your girl's really running it, brother. Now, when we were putting the roster together, you specifically wanted EO to be in the world division. Yep. Um, so, I just gotta ask, in your opinion, well, in your opinion, it's yes, but in your opinion, do you think she has what it takes to outdo Asuka for her being put in the mid-card division? I mean, I've watched both of them for a pretty long time, but, I mean, EO really deserves it now. Yeah. Like, the way that she has put in work is just outstanding. Just completely outstanding. Oh, figured out with the kick, went for, went for a, ch went for a grab, missed EO capitalizing. There you go. Get her up. Okay. Jesus Christ. Both of these women nice. nasty head kicks. Okay. Oh, in the corner. Beautiful. Tossed away. Oh, yeah. What? What's she thinking? 
Oh, drop kick. Okay. I'm just calling for it. Yo, this might be it. This might be it. Oh, nice. First. Oh, Tucker, yes. Close on over rope. Is she gonna? Nope. What's she gonna do? Dropping a stomp on Asuka. Jesus. Put her back in the ring. Beautiful. Yeah, he was fucking running shit. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, man. Ooh, drop kick of her own. She said, she said, whatever you can do, I can do better. Damn. That was nice. There you go. Is Asa going to tap is the question. No, she did not. Oh. But could the pain be too much? Could this match be over? Well, we're in for another guillotine. Jesus. <laughs> Someone's tapping out. There's no knockouts here. She's gonna. T one of them is going to tap out. Ooh. Nice. You know what, what I was about to say? If she drops an insane el 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 elbow, then it will be over. But it's not Kairi Sane. My bad. It's Io Shirai. <laughs> because you kept saying they're best friends, and, and I got them mixed up because of that. I'm like, wait. No, it's Io, not... Okay. And I yeah. knew it. Yeah, Kyrie Sane's the one with that nice. Uh, yes, be beautiful elbow, beautiful elbow. But no, your girl picks it up, brother. Damn. I mean, were you impressed? Were there things that you saw, or like what? Like what's your input? Here is your winner, Dominance. Yes. Dominance ensues. I mean, with a vacant title on the line next Saturday. Not this Saturday, folks. Next Saturday. With with a vacant title on the line, who's going to pose a threat to EO? Not many. The only one that has gone so far winning their matches is... Um, I believe... Yeah, uh, Ruby won against Tony... And Paige won yeah. won against uh Can Can Candice Michelle. So, I mean, the yeah. roster still hasn't been put in full effect yet. But those are the only two women that have uh, won their matches last week. Indeed. But um, moving on to our main events, sir. This is well. You told me this was the match that you're most excited about. Break it down for us. Well, unfortunately, he was released today. Yep. But, uh, Aleister Black versus CM Punk. Um, I mean, we all know CM Punk, but watching Aleister, very hard hitting. Mm-hmm. Great presence in the ring. Mm-hmm. Definitely, this is uh, one to watch. This is going to be a good one. So, I haven't asked you yet... But who are you putting your money on? Uh, I'll go with Alistair. Okay, okay. So for, for namesake, I'll go with Punk on this one. And uh, both of these two have very different styles. Oh, Jesus. Suplex Brain Buster. But the question is whose style is going to be the one to secure them the win. I mean, they both are, I mean, in this, in this brand, since there's no pin, pins and all that, they both are knockout artists. Uh, CM Punk used to be submission, 
for like the longest time, but then he got the G the the, the GTS and the uh, Macho Man uh, elbow drop. So he's kind of really stopped going for the and kind of ice. Yeah, he does enjoy his moves. Yep. But Alistair's black mask is very brutal. Oh yeah. So the question is who's the question that this will be answered tonight is who's gonna hit it first? Oh Avalanche! Avalanche! No! Alistair Black reversal. Oh shit! Cutter submission! Oh shit! Oh, oh nope, nope, nope. Oh there you go, there you go, come on. Oh. Alright, let's try it again. Nice shoulder blocks. Beautiful. Whose were better? Brock Lesnar's or Batista's uh, shoulder 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 buster in the corner? Uh, oh, Brock thrusted the fuck out of his opponents with that shit. Yes. But 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 but, but Batista's leg flick was so finesse when he was doing it. Yeah, I was about to say his little leg wiggle. Oh my god, that was so. So it's the question of smooth versus force. So which was, in your opinion, better? Uh, honestly, I mean, watching Batista's was quite nice. They were always nice. To watch. Yeah. Rocks were just fucking OP as shit. Yeah. Oh my god, sometimes he was gonna thrust people to the fucking. <laughs> You're right. Nice. Nice dropping the elbow, focusing on the upper body of of uh, of Black. All right, what's he thinking? What are you thinking? Going for the elbow. Yep. Oh, to Macho Man. Ah, yeah. And that gets him the knockout, brother. Shit. Wow, that move. Damn, your mid card, our our mid card champ champion gets. Gets a win in like under two minutes. But guys, with that being said, we have reached the end. Josh and I would like to thank you and tune in next Thursday for the go home show before uh before the foundation. With that being said, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.